has been maybe a little over two weeks since I have actually charged my car. Just due to the fact I'm living right down the street from where we're working. I have driven 257 miles on this charge on trip A. And I still have 52 miles left. Though, I mean, I haven't been driving very fast, obviously. Speed limit's like 35 most of the time. But wow. Wowzer, wowzer, wow. Something's got to be wrong. That's crazy. At this rate, I could possibly have 300 miles on a charge on a Nissan Leaf. I, I don't think that's possible. Something's got to be messed up. I am going to run this thing as low as it can go and still make it 17 miles to the charger. So I am down to 48 miles now, off for the day. Just got off work at three o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, yeah, so maybe one more day. I'm gonna go to work again tonight about 8 p.m. And uh, tomorrow go charge. Really excited about it just due to the fact I'm gonna keep my software update onto my thumb drive and I'm not going to install it just yet. I want to go ahead and, and get a decent charge, maybe 80%. Then I'm going to unplug, do the software update, and then try plugging it back in and see if the software update works. I don't want to do the software update now, go to the charger and have it not work because I'm not going to drag my computer along with me to the charger. And when I'm out on this road trip, my computer's going to be with me just in case I have any issues. I'll grab those updates over, you know, I'll text them, hey, this, here's, send them the diagnostics, have them create a new piece of firmware real fast, send it to me and I'll do it. So I'm not stranded. But there's no reason if I can get an 80% charge because I know the adapter works. But sometimes you get new firmware and it just doesn't work and you have to revert back to the older firmware. So I... I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep the older firmware on my computer, put the software update on my thumb drive, go charge, do the thumbware or stick the thumb, thumb drive into the adapter, do the firmware update and charge again, just to make sure it works. If it doesn't come back home, reinstall the old firmware. But I'm not going to do that tonight. I, I got to go to sleep, but I love coming home and just seeing that and seeing the tow vehicle, the Nissan Leaf right in front of it. Yeah, they go good together. It's one o'clock in the morning. I tried, I tried to get it as low as possible. I was down, ooh, just going in to get my phone, it's sped up. I was down to 12. Oh yeah, see, I was at 12% when I plugged in. Didn't take very long. It's moving right along. Look at those speeds. Yeah, this thing here, that's that's why I'm doing this road trip. I gotta make sure it works. Everybody loves theirs from other companies. So far though, I have read issues with other ones. Even the great A to Z. I've heard a couple issues. Like 78 degrees out, it's pretty comfortable. Why they're idling their trucks all night, just wasting fuel, I have no idea. But I, I have heard, I mean, everybody's, it, this is such a new technology, right? It's so hard for a company to create something to speak to a car and be able to work. And right now, Six Pence EV, formerly A Crane, uh, or it could still be a crane. I don't know. Um, has been the one that I have that has worked every everywhere, right? Everywhere. But then I see other people that are having incredible luck with the A to Z adapter, which competition's good. It's going to lower those prices down. That's that's another reason I'm going on this trip to make sure this one works everywhere. People are using the A to Z to go places. There's going to be that competition. You know what it's going to do? It's going to lower the prices. Like I said, that's the main reason I'm going on the trip. Well, not to lower prices, but maybe I will be a factor in it. As sales go up, prices should come down. I think I think that's how it works. 
but I'm really happy. I mean, I don't have the A to Z adapter, but I know other people do, like I said, and I'm really happy that it's working. I know they're a good company. They got a lot of good adapters like um, Electron and stuff. Electron makes some great adapters, but I don't know if they make adapters, these type of adapters. This is a very weird and strange niche, the Nissan Leaf. But there's these companies out there that know it's needed. Chatamo, you know, Chatamo was a standard for many, 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 many years. And uh, there's these companies out there that are supporting us, making sure we're going to be able to use our cars well into the future. And we got to show support. I, I see a lot of people complaining about the prices of them. You know, $1,000, whatever they cost. Yeah, it's it's a big chunk. You go to the Reddit post and it and it says things like, "I'm gonna have to sell my car and get a new car." Man, why? I, I that's one thing I don't get. Why? You know, even if even if you spend a thousand dollars on one of these, that's a heck of a lot cheaper than getting a car and having more years of payments. I don't know because there's nothing wrong with these cars. These cars are great. I, I don't get the thought of having to sell a car when you've got companies like Sixpence EV and A to Z out there, and hopefully one day Long Good, uh, which is the adapter I originally bought, um, that, uh, you know, we get these adapters, we start to lower, you know, people start to buy them, the price starts to come down, you know. Say say you could get this one here for seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars. It's well worth it compared to going and getting a new car. I don't I don't get it on Reddit sometimes. I I, I mean, I know it's frustrating, and it seems like a big out of pocket expense because it is. I'm assuming it's. A, I mean, it was for me. I had to sell to get the long good one. I had to sell my. Uh, I bought a, a three thousand dollar Trek electric bike, and in my head. You know, I had to get rid of it. I had to get rid of that, that bicycle and to get the, a $1,000 adapter that didn't work. And uh, I lost a $3,000 bike on a product that didn't work. And luckily, this one does but from Sixpence. It's like, uh, it, it worked. So the journey was successful. But, you know, sometimes you get rid of stuff to get things that don't work. But now that it is working... There's no reason to sell this car. This car's got plenty of years left. And I'm not going to have to acquire new car payments because of the adapter. So that $1,000 was a good investment. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a car that genuinely surprised me. The 2024 Nissan Leaf. I noticed something really odd when I watched like the Nissan Leaf car commercials. Some camping commercials and RV trailer commercial, or not commercials, but YouTube videos. What did I say commercials? I don't know. Seems like a lot of them are done with AI. At least AI voice. I find it very odd. Though my channel probably should be done with AI voice. It'll never be. I'll never be AI. <laughs> 